So you gotta have a cancellation policy. <laughs> Because people are going to cancel on you. Everyone's is going to be different, uh, whatever you're comfortable with. And it's got to be spelled out in the contract. Because if it's not there, then they're going to fight you on it. You can't just come up with something for every single person. So mine is 25% deposit is non-refundable after made. That's in multiple places on my contract. It's actually in the signatures of every email we send out. So they can never say that they didn't see that. That's not really part of the cancellation policy. If canceled within 20 days, 50% of all items will be charged. Orders will be updated to 0.5 billable days. If canceled within 10 days of events, 75% of all items will be charged. Orders will be updated to 0.75 billable days. If truck is already loaded, trucks get loaded the night before, and any item or whole order is canceled, there is still a 100% charge. We are promising this equipment to you and missing out on the opportunity to rent it to someone else. Our charges are non-negotiable. So mine is spelled out very clearly. If anyone cancels, I can just go reference that, point them to that, and there's no arguing. I also have another thing in there for sides and heaters. Sides and heaters are the only items that there's no refund or partial refund if canceled at any time. Sides and heaters, you just can't cancel them. Basically, there's not enough heaters to go around, and honestly, most tent companies don't have enough sides for every tent, because not every customer orders sides. So if you bought sides for every single one of your tents, every single linear foot, it's gonna be cost prohibitive. So we got a lot of sides, but not enough to cover every tent. So if we run out of sides or heaters, and someone calls and wants a quote, and you say, oh, we don't have heaters, you know, we don't have sides, they may not go with me, they may go with someone else, and you completely lose that customer. So if people book sides or heaters, you may not know if it's gonna be cold, you don't know if it's gonna be rainy, but it's better to have them uh, and not need them than to not put them on and then that week call for them. So it is hard. People are gonna call you to cancel all the time and they're gonna give their, you their sob stories. Uh, you just gotta be firm on it. It is what it is. I had someone call one time, it was um, a guy, he was in the military, and he goes, we need to cancel the wedding. And I don't ask anymore, they can tell me if they want, but I, I said, sure, why, what's up? And he said, well, no one told her that when I got deployed, she couldn't go fool around with other guys, so we're not getting married. Well, you know, you're not getting your money back, I'm sorry. It's too close to the wedding, I can't book this, book this back up, I'm sorry. Uh, and there's just lots of stories like that. They gotta cancel. Uh, we do let them put money, you know, what they put down or whatever towards their next event. If they're going to, like some people reschedule a wedding, they don't all of a sudden cancel it. So we let them put it towards that. That's a nice thing we do. Uh, and if they really, really, really are fighting us on it, we say, hey, it's pretty close to your date or whatever. Um, if we can book this equipment back out, then we'll give you a, a portion of it back. Uh, that usually doesn't happen. And if it does happen, I usually lose track of it and they usually never call. Uh, so you're gonna get cancellations. It's just gonna happen. It's gotta be clear. You gotta kind of stick to it. You can make exceptions here and there. Like, you know, someone died, you feel bad. Someone died of, you know, some horrible disease or whatever you can do something. It's not like hard and fast, but generally, you know, this is kind of an understood thing or they at least should understand. We're like a venue or a photographer or a wedding officiant or whatever. We don't have unlimited supply of stuff. We're promising them equipment. If they cancel, what's the likelihood that we're going to get it back out, especially if they cancel closer to the event? We're not. So we need to have something in place to cover that. Because, again, we promised our equipment to these people and denied other people. So we got to have some sort of cancellation policy. Thanks for watching.